Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. <clears throat> I want to talk to you today about the astrology of Wednesday, August 8th, that's 8-8, eight, eight, um, <clears throat> numerologically. Um, <clears throat> actually, numerologically, um, the 8-8, eight, eight, if you add those two together, you get a 16. And if you add the universal um, year, which is an 11, that is a 27 vibration. And uh, 27 is connected with, um, 27.9 is connected with the Ace of Wands in the Tarot. And it is the root of creativity. And so today can be a very creative day. <clears throat> the root energy of fire is connected to Leo. And today we have the Sun making a conjunction to retrograde Mercury in Leo at 17 degrees. And so wherever 17 degrees is in your chart, we have um, Mercury and the Sun coming together at that degree. Now this conjunction can only happen uh, when Mercury is retrograde. It is called an inferior conjunction in that um, we have the Sun then we have Mercury, and then I'm the Earth, right? And so uh, we can't see, of course, we can't see Mercury because it is conjunct the Sun. Uh, visually, we can't see it. Um, so to a certain extent, Mercury is in the underworld. And yet Mercury was the only god that could go uh, into the underworld and come back out uh, somewhat unscathed. Um, he was able to, to, uh, to do that, okay? And so we will go into our own underworld, our own inner self, to get the information that we need, uh, that we have worked um, with our, our creative information, our creative core, uh, so that we can go within and get the messages from Mercury and get the messages from Spirit um, that this type of, of uh, aspect um, the information that we can get. So it's it's in itself, it's a mystical day because of the 8-8. Eight, eight. And then we have this conjunction. Uh, we also have the moon in Cancer. And um, it actually goes into Cancer at uh, like 12.01 a.m. on the east coast of the U.S. So one minute after midnight, it goes into Cancer. And so for all intents and purposes, <laughs> it, the moon's in Cancer. And um, Cancer is a very sensitive um, position for the moon. The moon is ruled. The, the ruler of cancer is the moon, so the moon is comfortable in cancer. We can um, sort of digest our feelings with the moon in cancer. And uh, it's very active today, actually. There's a lot of aspects to the moon. Uh, some of them are a little bit challenging. Uh, we have an opposition to Saturn. And so when the moon opposes Saturn, uh, we have our needs and our and our emotions, and then we have Saturn on the other side of, of the other side of the table. And uh, Saturn, especially in Capricorn, can be um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not particularly. Oh my God, I can't think of the word. Not particularly concerned with the feeling. <laughs> It's more concerned with the reality. And so while we're feeling our feelings, we're also faced with the reality of our situation and what needs to be done about it. Um, we also have a sextile to Uranus. Uranus is in Taurus. Uranus just went retrograde yesterday, uh, so it's still very, very powerful. Um, and so we have an opportunity to open the lines of communication with our higher self today, which is very exciting. As far as I'm concerned, the other aspect. Um, oh, and then the moon makes a late night um, trine to Jupiter in Scorpio, and that sort of helps us access some of um, the more difficult feelings that we're having, but uh, have access to healing them as well. Um, <clears throat> um, the moon actually makes a grand water trine with Jupiter and Neptune. And so, and, and it, it makes an exact trine to Neptune um, after midnight. Uh, so very, very early tomorrow morning, at least on the east coast of the U.S. So, so 
all the feelings that we have, facing reality, listening to our inner self, all of this sort of comes to the head at the end of the day. And we have an opportunity to do some pretty profound healing with that. The other thing that's going on today is that the sun is making a in conjunct to Neptune. Now, um, the sun is about uh, seeing things, illumination. Uh, when the sun shines um, brightly, we can see the light and the dark very easily. There's, there's demarcation between the light and the dark. And when we're dealing with Neptune, we're dealing with grayness and fog, right? And so there's no, there's no lines. There's no, everything is sort of dissolving away. And so things that we think we see tomorrow, uh, can actually seem real, but maybe are not quite real. And so we have to be very careful tomorrow. The the lines, people won't be pay, paying attention to the lines. And if you're driving down the road, that can be a problem. Um, this can also bring in some weather that uh, obscures your view. And I know there are places um, in the country that are having all kinds of uh, non-weather related trouble with visibility uh, because of smoke and such. So be extra careful. Um, seeing things clearly won't be that easy tomorrow. Your best bet to see things clearly is to go inside because your, your inside will never lie to you. Your gut, your heart, as long as you listen to it, will not lie. It'll give you the skinny on everything. And so perhaps that's the best place to go tomorrow. Go within. Um, and find out uh, what the lion's gate, <laughs> the 8-8 vibration, has to uh, inform you of. Have yourself a beautiful day. If you enjoy these videos, press the like button if you'd like to contact me for a reading. Or just contact me with a question. You can get a hold of me on my website, thesiegeoftransformation.com. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That always helps. And I will see you again tomorrow. Ciao.